Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. I, oh my gosh, it's been a rough morning for me. I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better. I had a headache this morning at like 3 a.m. and it just like hit me so hard, like right in the right side of my eye, up through my face. It hurt so bad. So I obviously got up, took some migraine meds, and then kind of went back to bed, but never could fall back asleep. So I was up on the couch at like 5 a.m. So I've been up since 5 a.m. trying to fight off this headache. And then I finally ate something around 7 and then uh, took a shower and got myself ready and together and it's like 9.30 so I, I didn't even walk this morning because my head was hurting so bad. I just needed to chillax. And I didn't want to have to go walk out in the heat because it was already like 80 degrees at 6.30 this morning. So I was just trying to avoid having to go out there. So I maybe, 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 maybe might go out there tonight around 8.30 or so and walk. Brian and I might go do that. If not, then I'll just, um, do it tomorrow morning obviously but anyway so this morning good morning guys i am headed to the bank we had a little bit of an issue with our credit card somebody decided that they were going to take our credit card information and open up an apple ipay account and start charging a bunch of charges on it at target so i'm like Oh my God. So the fraud alert company called us yesterday. So I've been dealing with them since yesterday afternoon. And then I'm like, oh my God, I have all of these like things that automatically come out to pay. So I have to go take care of all of that stuff. Nightmare. And it's all because one person decided to steal somebody's credit card. It's like all that work that we have to go through because of that. So they've issued us a new credit card. The credit card has now been canceled. Um, a new one is on its way. So it's just like, Oh my word lots of stuff so yeah craziness but I have to go take care of all that stuff and then I thought I am I thought about running into Dollar General really quick or Dollar Store or whatever it is Dollar Tree I am not a huge fan of those places I don't know why I just I never just it was never like something to go oh I'm gonna go in there um, I mean I have gone in there so don't get me wrong I don't want to hear any like dirty comments about oh don't think you're so much better than anybody else because they have to go in there that's not it at all I have gone in there I have purchased things from there I have dinner wear from there actually Christmas dinner wear so I don't think that I'm better than anybody else because I don't go in there I just it's just not a preferred place for me to ever go or shop or go look into never um, it's never a thought just like going into to a thrift store or a or the goodwill just not a thing that i do so anywho um but i thought about going in there because somebody had said that they have very similar fall and halloween decorations uh that michael's has and obviously they're inexpensive they're not as expensive as michael's because michael's is just stupid um but yeah, so I thought about going in there really quick and then I need to run in probably just Walmart. I was gonna go to Target and I'm like, eh, I don't feel like it. Um, I need to go get some laundry stuff. So I'm about out of, not laundry soap itself, not my little Tide Pods, but my little pellets that I put in to make my clothes smell nice. So I am out of those. And I have to go get some more because I was doing tons of laundry yesterday. And then obviously I do my son's laundry because I don't want him to touch my washing machine. Is that like bad? He put, you know, and I know Brian's like, well, you're the mom. You need to teach him how to do laundry. I'm like, you know, I could teach him how to do laundry all day long. Um, and I know that he, you know, he just throws all of his clothes in there no matter what. Like all the pants, all the shirts, all the socks, all the undies in one load. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Mama don't do that. Mama doesn't do that to her washing machine. Um, so I have been like offering to do it for him. And of course, then I do it all separately. So like I'll wash his jeans and his pants together separately from the dark, separately from the whites, which he doesn't have very many whites. So um, I just wash all that. And then I have folded it and put it on his bed. But the, the other night I just washed it and laid it on his bed so he can fold it and put it away. But anyway, so yeah, mama was doing his laundry for him. And he starts school next Monday, so I'm very happy about that. And then I threw it out there at him if he was interested. He could go with us to Universal when we go. 
Uh, we've already got hotel and everything. All he'd have to do is just buy his ticket and he can go if he wanted to go with us. And then he just um, drive home on Sunday. So he could do that if he wanted to. I threw that out there at him. I don't know if he wants to do it or not. But anyway, I'm just jabbering. But I wanted to let you guys know. So I'm using the new um, Jelly Pop from e.l.f loving it so the jelly pop is the blush that i'm using and i love that blush you have to be very quick with it or else it'll kind of like dry really quick on your face so i sponge it in and i will definitely like do a show you guys all my elf products because that's pretty much what i have on my face right now is elf minus the i have eyeshadow my eyeshadow is elf my lip balm is elf and my blush is elf what else is elf oh my eyeliner no my eyebrows are elf uh but everything else is uh, milani which i've told you guys a million times how much i love the milani products as well but yeah this the pop is so cute i mean you can see like the blush on my cheek it is just so pretty and it just i love the color and i had like struggled with blushes and of course jam beauty made me do it so she had tried the blush the pop blush and i was like oh my god i want to try it so i got the pop blush which that's what i got the other day at ulta and they didn't have all the other stuff so i ordered it online ulta and that's what i'm wearing on my lips right now is the jelly gloss the jelly pop gloss so, which is really really cute and I'm digging my hair I know somebody the other day said that they weren't like digging my hair they didn't like the new way I was wearing my hair I'm sorry um, I'm liking it <laughs> I'm liking it right now it just it just feels so good um, and I love the way that it's like turning out and my diffuser is helping so much and I have two new products coming in the mail tomorrow that might help even more intensify like the curl or the waviness I don't know it may not work on my hair but we shall see but anyway okay I'm at the bank I'm gonna go in and get this stuff straightened out because this is crazy. So I came into Walmart and you can see they have some of their fall stuff out. Lots of cute stuff. See, these are very similar to what they had at Michael's. And these are 366, 344. And those are really cute. Really cute ones. Love that. That's really cute. Very, very cute cute pumpkins I like these flower market those are really cute $7.84 for that these are nice too $10.47 nice I really like that that'd be cute what is it what did I say how much it was $7.84 that'd be really cute to sit like on my bench in my kitchen with some pumpkins in it but I won't get that because I'm pretty sure I probably have a million other things that I could put pumpkins in but yeah so far this is what they have not a lot it's in the still in the same aisle as the school supplies but cute stuff good cute stuff nonetheless good morning friends and happy wednesday i am outside it is 7 25 in the morning and i am about ready to start walking again i have not i didn't walk yesterday because i woke up with a really bad headache but today I'm gonna get outside, I'm gonna walk again. I'm back up to 235, which is very frustrating. I really don't know why, but I guess it might be just a fluctuation thing. I drink a ton of water, so I'm thinking it might be like a water thing, but hoping by the end of the week, I'll be back to my 233, don't know. But uh, anyway, so tomorrow will be my last day to be able to walk though, because obviously Friday I'm leaving for Tennessee, so I'll be with my family the whole weekend. So tomorrow will be my last day to be able to walk. And then um, Monday, that's it. So I'm going to start walking right now. Got my phone ready, got my wristband, got my watch, got my ear things. Let's start walking. Boom. <laughs> Another three miles. I did 308 in 50 minutes, 20 seconds, saving. Oh my gosh. So there is my 308. You guys can see it right there. 308, there's all my stats. 407 calories. Like this and this is always like the goal for the day. Yes. And my pace actually picked up too a bit, so that's a good thing. 
and really like at two miles or so I like have to convince myself I have to talk to myself sorry let's focus here I have to talk myself through each walk each step and say nope let's do to three let's go to three let's go to three get more results when I go to three so boom so there it is and I listened to the Harry Potter soundtrack the whole walk so that was amazing just kind of gets me in the mood for Harry Potter so I'm gonna go in the house now get my water cool down and make my breakfast egg and cantaloupe great way to start the day alrighty guys so I had my breakfast I made a scrambled egg again with pico de gallo and it just one egg I I can never eat two it just makes too much for me so I just have one egg with pico de gallo I had um, cantaloupe on the side and then I sprinkled just a little bit of cheese on top of my uh, eggs so good and then oops, excuse me and then water 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 um, this is a water bottle that I got off of Amazon. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. This is one of those uh, uh, Jam Beauty made me do it water bottles again. She actually um, was talking about one of her Tervis, Tervis tumblers, which that's what this is, in one of her videos a while ago, and it was a Disney one. And I'm like, oh my God, I had to have it. So I... I went on Amazon and I ordered that one and I got it and then she was talking about another tourist tumbler in her other video from the other day which happened to be this one and I'm like yes I love that stop it stop it jam beauty because it happens I don't know about you guys but I thought about I saw a video the other day somebody did a um, jam be jam beauty made me buy it video and I thought oh my god what a great idea so I actually um, you know messaged her or commented on her video and said this is such a great idea I hope you don't mind if I you know copy it from you and she's like absolutely not she goes I'd be interested to see you know what you bought that she bought made you buy <laughs> whatever so I'm like okay so I'm gonna put together a jam beauty made me buy it video which is quite a few things quite honestly I think it's hilarious but uh, so yeah be looking for that because I will have that up sometime soon uh, probably not this week obviously because I'm going to be leaving Friday so I don't think I'll have time to do it today or tomorrow but uh anyway probably one day next week or following week I will be putting together a lot of videos though because um I want to have videos for you guys while we are gone on our trip so a lot of like packing videos I have sorry my sports bra is twisted I have a lot of new Sorry, I have a lot of new travel bags coming in that I ordered. Two of them already came in and I know, I know some of you guys are thinking, you already have travel bags, Miss Angie. Why are you getting more? Well, it's because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with travel bags. What can I say? And when I see like something that could be used as more convenient for me, something that's going to, you know, hold or house everything that I need that I can use, then I'm definitely going to get it. I think and I and I saw, I don't know whose video I saw it on quite honestly anymore, but I did see the ones that I ordered from somebody else on from YouTube. So that's their that's their I'm sorry that's they I get it all the time but um I see it on somebody else's YouTube channel and I just have to like oh I like that so anyway I'm sure you guys do it with me or other YouTubers as well you're like oh my god I have to have it so you go order it yeah it happens but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started I have got to make up the bed I'm gonna take a shower I have laundry to fold up I have some towels in the dryer that I have to fold sorry this like sports bra is bothering me um, I have towels in the dryer that I have to fold up and then I have some more laundry that I have to do you guys can see I emptied that laundry basket yesterday Woohoo! and I have to get extra suitcases out today I have to pack for Brian for this weekend and I have to pack for myself for this weekend because we're both gonna be gone both in Tennessee but different parts of Tennessee see and then um, I'll probably just end up leaving those suitcases I know I want you to leave those suitcases out and then I'm gonna leave our toiletries out because I'll be starting to pack for our cruise yes and our universal trip yes 
I'm so excited about that. Uh, and then obviously having to figure out what we're going to be wearing while we're at Universal and all that good stuff. I already know like the, the shirt that I'm going to wear while I'm driving there as long as it comes in on time from Etsy. I'm hoping it does. It says it should. But uh, I have that shirt in mind that I'm going to wear there as I'm driving down to Orlando and Universal. And uh, I'll wear that that day. We're not going to the parks or anything that day. But we are going to probably like, you know, walk around Universal City Walk and all that good stuff. So I'm going to wear that shirt. And then the next day I have another shirt that I'm going to wear if, if. And that is a big if, if it fits. I ordered it the other day from Amazon. I got it mail, it's here. I washed it. It looks a little snug, not sure. And it's also gonna depend on the temperature while we're there because if it's hot outside, I won't wear a shirt that has sleeves. I'll wear something that's sleeveless because I get so hot that I feel like I'm suffocating. So I have to wear like sleeveless stuff. That's kind of how I have to wear stuff in bed is I have to wear sleeveless tankies to bed because I feel like I'm suffocating when I have a hot flash. So ladies, if you're, you know, have those hot flashes, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the day started. I thought, I didn't have to go anywhere today. No, I didn't have to go anywhere today. Was I gonna go somewhere today? No, I don't think that I was. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna stay stay around the house and uh, clean up again. I've already kind of pretty much clean. Like I said, I just gotta do my laundry, make up the bed, just the touch up stuff, the small things around the house, do, put the dishes in the dishwasher, all that good stuff. Oh, we watched Avengers um, Endgame last night. We hadn't seen that yet, and it was really good. I really enjoyed the, the show. I really enjoyed the movie. I actually even told Brian and Brandon that I actually kind of liked it better than Star Wars. Ooh, I know, right? I mean, that's just craziness. They're like, um, I don't know if that you should say that or not, but yeah, I liked it better than, I kind of liked it better than Star Wars, but that's kind of our secret. Uh, so yeah, don't tell anybody that I said that. But, anywho, it was good. I was like, I'm not crying, you're crying. I wasn't crying at all. I don't know why everybody kind of said that. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to give any spoilers away. Because for anybody who didn't see it, it's like, oh my god, I cannot believe. And so I told him last night, I'm like, oh no, I, don't, I didn't want this person. <laughs> okay, no spoilers, I'm going to give away. Alright, I'm going to go to the bed, get some stuff done around here. And I will check back with you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, so I have mopped my kitchen floor, thank goodness, and I will show you guys what I used earlier. I used the new um, Fabuloso, the blue one, but I'll show you what it looks like in just a few minutes after my floor dries. You can see there's some spots that are still wet, and over here is pretty wet because this is the last part that I mopped. So I'm just waiting for this to dry, and then I'll lay my rugs back down and vacuum those. I've got some chicken in the crock pot for dinner, and yeah. Very happy about clean floors. And while I had the mop bucket out, I just decided to go ahead and mop up and clean up my laundry room. Again, you can see the floor is wet. But yeah, I have cleaned up my laundry room. I just piled my baskets up there for now. And now my laundry room floor is nice and clean, as is my laundry room. Hello, friends, and welcome to my drive to Kroger. I put some chicken in the crock pot earlier and went to the refrigerator and realized that I don't have any cheese and we're actually having tacos tonight. We're doing Taco Wednesday instead of Taco Tuesday. I know, crazy, right? But I had like, we had, what did we have last night? I don't even remember what we had last night. Oh, we had wings last night. I had threw, threw some rings. I was gonna put them on the grill last night. This is so irrelevant, I don't even know why I'm saying it, but I was gonna put them on the grill last night, but because it was like 105 degrees with the heat index last night, yesterday when I was gonna cook the wings, I'm like, I am not standing out there in that heat to over a grill turning wings for 30 to 40 minutes. Ain't happening. So I threw them in the oven. So we had wings last night. And then we watch the Avengers, which I told you guys that earlier. But anyway, so today I put chicken in the crock pot and we're gonna have tacos tonight. But we had no chicken. So I, I mean, we had no cheese for the tacos. So I am running to the store really quick to pick up some cheese and probably some maters and some lettuce. 
so we can have like the whole full shebang of tacos tonight. Um, I took a shower really quick and I'm still like, like the shower didn't take because I'm still sweating. But um, it took and I was just fine, but I was like kind of rushing to get out the door. And uh, I did my hair again though. Look how cute it looks. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging my hair right now. It's really fun. And it, it's not it's hard. It's not hard to do, but it just takes some time. It's a process. But like I said, once I get the process down and I share it with, and I get used to doing it, and it starts going the way that I want it to go, I will show. I will share it with you guys on how I do it. It's it's you have to use a, quite a few products or whatever for your hair, but I like the way that it turns out, nonetheless. So, anywho. Uh, but yeah, so headed to Kroger, get the cheese. I will get back to you guys once I get back home. Yeah. So like I said earlier, I am making tacos for dinner tonight and I just kind of put some chicken in the crock pot earlier this morning and then I just, you know, chop it all up till it's really, really fine. And I know those are still big chunks. I still got a lot of chunking or a lot of chopping to do. And then I put in a packet of like taco seasoning kind of looks like this I cut the top off already to put it in here and then I just kind of mix it around and just to get it to flavor and then I'll come back and I just keep chopping this chicken up till it's like really fine small pieces and I'll just keep doing this like throughout the day until it gets completely like smaller and that way we just have like shredded chicken. So that's kind of how I do my shredded chicken. I've seen some people putting it like, oops, getting foggy. I've seen some people put it like in their, on their um, like mixer or whatever to get their chicken all choppy, but I'm not. I do it like this and it works just fine for me. And then we just really, when we go to make our taco, we just pull it out of the crock pot. It's just a lot easier, which is so nice. So that's basically what I do. And then, um, I gotta get a plate, hold on. I pulled my hair back too, in a ponytail. And you guys can see I went to the store with like zero makeup on. Like I didn't even do my eyebrows or anything. I put mascara on, that was it. Cause I knew I was running in there and running right back out. I did not feel the need to be all fancy with my face. Um, okay, so I'm just putting that right there. Put a little place for my spoon that I was using. And then I picked this up today too. I picked up 18 of these um, crunchy taco shells. These will probably be for Brandon and my husband. These ones, I was noticing like the carb count on them, which I'm really not like watching my carbs per se. So there's 19 carbs per three shells. Not too bad. And then these ones I'm gonna try for myself. These are blue corn tortilla shells. And these have um, 15 grams per two shells so again not too shabby let's see what are the calories in that one 120 150 so i'm gonna give these ones a try um again i'm not exactly like i'm not like counting carbs because that's just too hard to do and it's just ridiculous um but i am just being very careful carefuler <laughs> more careful um, with like food that I eat and portions and stuff like that. So, but I did get the blue ones because those ones are a little on the lighter side. And then I picked up some Ortega like taco sauce and then jalapenos um, because we like putting these in our tacos. And I also did get um, uh, the Mexican blend of shredded cheese. So I did pick this up. So that's good. I picked up another thing of milk, which is good. I picked up some, which we already had this in here, but I picked up another one of those Catalinas because uh, Brandon and I like these on our tacos. And I love my refrigerator. I know I said I was gonna show you guys like my refrigerator and how I have it organized, but I haven't done that yet. But just so you guys know, I'm lo loving my refrigerator, just so you know. And I think what I love like the most of it is, is that I have so much room and I love this down here. <laughs> I just love this. I just love having my stuff down here. It's very convenient. I know where stuff is at and I can just pull this out and look, it stacks so high. I have meat in here. I have edamame and broccoli and all kinds. Ooh, I forgot about that. I need to try that, that jackfruit. I need to try that with tacos. How do I do that? I should try that tonight. I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna leave this out too. I am going to thaw this out and I'm going to use this. So I wanna, yeah, jackfruit. I forgot that I had that, so I'm gonna use that tonight. 
it looks really good and tasty so i'm gonna try that tonight um so yeah i love 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 it um anything else that i was gonna say i don't think so yes there was oh yes i was gonna show you guys what i mopped my floor with today my floor is mopped my laundry room is mopped and i'm so happy about that so i used this is what i used on my floors which is the fabuloso this is the one that i used um this is the tropical spring and it smells really really good i love the way that it smells so i was very happy about that it smells fabuloso and uh yeah i think that's about it i think that's about it for now i got a new curling iron i'm gonna try this out this is one of those new um this kind that is kind of got like the three and you just kind of crimp not crimp your hair but it kind of curls your hair too so i'm going to try to give this one a try too and that way it won't look like this it'll look completely different so i'm going to give that a try as well but for the most part now i gotta go take the um mop bucket outside and dump the water out which i'll probably let brian do later and then I'm going to fold up these towels that are on my bed while I watch 90210 in my room. And I really didn't want to put this dress on because I didn't want to like wear this dress just to the store and that's it. But I did anyway. Oh well. Again, irrelevant. Like y'all care. Like y'all care if I wore this dress or not. So weird. I'm just talking. So my fan is on in the room that's that little rattling sound you hear did my tv not come on <sighs> so annoying. we have this box is it come on now yes so we put this box in our room which is the like a sony surround sound box and ever since we did that um we can't turn the tv on and off with this remote don't know why but we've tried programming it and it won't work but I have to watch 90210. And voila, there we are. Beverly Hills 90210. Donna Martin graduates. That's what's on right now. And tonight is the ooh, new episode of the new 90210, which I absolutely loved last week. Absolutely loved it. So I'm very, very excited to see again tonight. Um, I'll, I'll miss it the week that we're gone on the cruise. Oh well, I have it recorded. Okay, I'm gonna fold these towels down and stop talking because I'm really probably talking about nothing that you guys are very interested in at all. I knew it. It busted open. I could smell it. Ooh, that makes me so mad. Look at it. It came open. It's all over the box. Oh my gosh, that makes me so mad. All right, so how do I take care of this? Alrighty, so as soon as I picked up the box outside by my front door, I could tell that something was spilled because of the way that it smelled so strong. Um, so yeah, that stuff spilled out, like the lid came off in the box. So this is what it looks like in the box, which sucks. And then this is what spilled open, which is the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. This is some new stuff that I am going to try for my hair. I kind of tried to salvage what I could and then I just like wiped off the rest of the bottle and then just cleaned it all up. This one did not open up, which is great. This is the Shea Moisturizer Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I'm gonna try this as well. Curl enhancing stuff for my hair. So I'm gonna give them both a try and see like if I can't create any like even more curl in my hair that I already have created. But you know, this isn't like too bad. I'm gonna show you guys. So like, this the is kind of like you know the top obviously it should probably have been to the top but it wasn't so but this is what spelled out and this is what's this is what spelled out and this is what's left after i tried to salvage what i could i mean there's still stuff like stuck on the sides here 
So I've just been trying to put it all back in here because again, I think this was like 10 bucks. It wasn't that expensive, but again, I want to be able to use the product and try it out. So um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm just mad that it opened up in the box, but I was able to clean it up and salvage what I could. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the last couple of days. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I am sorry that it wasn't like full of great things, but you know, hey, that's just the way sometimes things go. You don't have always have something to vlog about. But anyway, I hope that I brought you all right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!